everybody, I'm Jammer, and welcome back to the wonderful island paradise of Animal H here in Animal Crossing New Horizons. Or should I say, good evening everyone. It is quite late in the afternoon because I just had the most busy day ever. But I've been craving to get back to my town all day. Look, now I can sleep and fish at the same time. It's the most perfect thing ever. See, look, I'm holding the fishing rod. I even got my little tackle box right next to me, as well as a little bucket where I can put the fish into. Or or maybe I'll just like kind of sling the fishing rod across while I'm laying down. So hopefully it'll land in the bucket so I don't even have to move. I can just sleep and fish all day. We've got a lot to get going today because the museum's open, Nook's Cranny is open, and it's so late in the evening. We wanna make sure they don't close before we get going here. So let's, so let's get started with today's chores. The first thing it's worth checking out is of course our mailbox. Oh my gosh, there's so much going on here. Here's your item from the Nook Mileage. I got something there. An item from the Nook Mileage again. I got a letter from Sterling. Did you really add a new room to your place? That's awesome. You can turn into a gym, right? Cause I want a membership. Here's something to cover my membership dues. Bring on the sweat, Sterling. Oh, we got a letter from Daisy May. I'll be heading to your island every Sunday morning. Well, why didn't you come? That was yesterday or I guess a couple days now at this point. Where were you when I needed you? Got a letter from Dodo Airlines. Thank you for flying Dodo Airlines. We know you don't have a lot of options, but thanks for choosing us all the same. Here's the items I ordered. Then we got the marimba. Wait, what is this? Oh my gosh. That's amazing. This has to stay out here for sure. I mean, probably not in front of the house, but definitely want to keep that. What else we got? We got a velvet stool. Oh my gosh, another one. That's a, a duplicate because we have another one way over here that we just haven't touched for the longest time. Here it is. Oh, now it's like covered by things. But yeah, now we have two velvet stools. I got to do something funny with these things. But for now, I'll just keep them next to each other. And then finally, we have a doll tee. And if we wear that, yes, we have some custom doll merch. That is so perfect. I love it. So since we're down this way, I think it's worth taking a look at. Boom, the museum has been finished. And I mean, there's a there's a couple of things worth donating out here. Uh, we'll get to that a little bit later. Let's check things out. Let's see how Blathers is doing. It's nighttime, so it looks like he's wide awake. Hoo-hoo, if it isn't Jammer. At long last, the Animal Age Museum has opened this very day, no less. An impressive feat of engineering and craftsmanship. The good old island ingenuity, is it not? Of course, it was your very donation that made this possible, so I say thank you. Now, let me give you a quick overview of, the, the, of some plans. You'll find the entrance on the left, right, and center. Each one leads to exhibit rooms where Danish is collected. Ah, that's right. I have more good news to report. The, the donation process has been streamlined. Henceforth, I would select multiple donations at warrant. Oh, that's that's easy. I guess before we boogie out here and obviously donate a lot of stuff to this place, it's worth at least checking out some of the key things we didn't see very well um, in direct footage and whatnot. And the first place I wanted to check out was, of course, the secret lab. Yeah, it's still so strange what this even is. Oh, look, there's actually a donation there. Why can't I actually look at it? It's, a, it's one of the moths I donated. I, for some reason, there's no button from, or you'd think I read this, but it's saying, we only ask for your donations to the, okay. How do I check out that donation right there? Well, I guess this is just a room that'll be showcasing donations. It does make me wonder though why Nat is on this poster here. Of all, of all, it does still make me wonder why Nat is on this poster, you know? Poor guy got deleted from the game. Ooh, wait, I donated the thing that does the, the swimming like that? What did I donate? What is that? Anchovies? Yeah, it's the anchovies. That's right, okay, that's cool. I still absolutely think this is the funniest new feature of the museum. And look, next to it, oh my gosh, the light even lights up saying like, you're the next in the evolutionary chain. That's so amazing. So eventually you'll get like fossils here that will like relate to these other mammals and characters. But it's so funny that like, the, when you go up next to it in the blank spot, it like lights up as you're the exhibit. That's so funny. So I think that's enough touring of the museum for now. I'll deal with these donations later. I don't really feel like doing it during the video because I feel like they'll just be boring and not really worth recording, honestly, because there's so much to go through there. But I do want to go check out, oh, there it is. Nook's Cranny already is built and ready. Let's go check out Timmy and Tommy's new shop. Well, first off, looking at we got the hot item. Inquire inside if stolen stool. So wait, if you sell stone stools, you'll make a lot of money? Or is it that he's selling? Oh, hey, look, who's that? There's Mabel. What is Mabel doing here? I was worried when I heard you're all moving to a desert island, but this is much nicer than I imagined. It's so nice. Even though we haven't been here all that long, in just a short time, Blathers has moved in and we were also opened up, be able to open up this shop. Experiencing new things every day has been a lot of fun. I'm so pleased to hear that. Actually, I came here today to check on you and see if you any, need any assistance with anything. It's our way of celebrating your new shop. You know, we sisters like to help where we can, AKA make a little bells, right? 
we're just overwhelmed that you even thought to come visit us. Oh, hey, I think, hello, I'm like literally right next to you guys. What's going on? We depend on mail orders for a lot of our goods. Having this shop should make it a bit easier for us to obtain ready-made furniture and stuff like that, but we still need a clothing supplier. Hint, hint, wink, wink. It's not really that difficult for us to get to this island. How about if I stop by every so often and sell our wares to- Oh, so Maybelle's gonna be a traveling salesman for a little bit before we actually build her shop? Of course, silly. We can sell our goods here. It's a win-win situation for everyone. Yes, please do that. We can't wait to see you here again. Um, hello? Oh, I thought she was gonna blast right past- Oh, that's it! She just waved and blasts past me. I thought she at least talked to me, but nope. She's like, got- she has no time for that. Oh, hi, Jammer. Sorry to keep you waiting. Thanks to, your, thanks to your help, we've opened this amazing new shop. Our shop's named in honor of our beloved president who used to run. Welcome to Nook's Cranny, the classic. As you see, we're offering ready-made furniture and items that can't be made with DIY projects. Also in the back cabinet with the tools and other miscellaneous goods, we have wallpaper and flooring. So it's basically the classic Nook's Cranny we've all known and love. But this thing looks wicked. Look, what is this? A throwback skull radio. Oh my gosh, I have no money. I have only 40 bells to my name. I can't buy any of this. I do want to check out the back room here and see what's going on in the cabinet. Okay, so this is kind of like the inventory that we've been already seeing previously throughout like our gameplay. Oh, purple wrapping paper. Oh, you can like wrap gifts. That'd be so cute. Looks like the flower inventory has been expanded and there's a couple of additional new things, but it's generally what they were selling already at the resident services place. So that means if I talk to them, with our new shop comes three new services. First, let's talk turnips. Finally, we got turnips. Now, a day too late. We'll buy any turnips you have on hand. The price isn't set in the morning and afternoon, so be sure to stop by. Second brand new service is the hot item of the day. The hot item will change every day, but we'll bring one to sell and we'll give you double its normal price. So basically, if I, I just craft a bunch of stone stools, I'll just rake in the bells. Last service is the drop-off box. You can find it in front of the shop. Say you're in a hurry or the shop is closed, you can just drop off any items you want to sell. We'll pay you later, sending funds directly to your bank account. However, there's a handling fee. We don't accept turnips. Hot items will sell for a regular price. So, wait, it's gonna sell for less money to use the drop box? That's kind of a bummer. Because, I mean, the nice thing about the resident service is it's open 24 hours a day. You can, you, we, we were able to sell anything any hour of the day. But now, you know, there's a time frame for Nook's Cranny to be open. I guess that Dropbox makes things super convenient, but if it's gonna sell for less money, like, if it's your hard-earned, like, tarantulas or whatever, like, why would you even use it? I do want to pick up some of these items, like, this radio looks so cool, this little, like, reeds, this little, like, fish plant thing looks super funny. But I don't really have any money to buy in this, so we'll have to come back. It is weird, though, seeing Timmy and Tommy running Nook's Cranny, and both of them together, because, I mean, at least in New Leaf, one of them would run the, the Nook's Cranny, but, but not two of them at the same time. So anyways, where's the drop-off box? It must be right here. It says drop-off box, drop anyone want to sell. How does this work? Yeah, let's see this. Drop off any items you want, you want to sell anytime. Just place your items inside the box. Payments will be deposited in your bank account the next day, which is cool. Items are brought at 80% of their value. That's significant. That's kind of a bummer. I hope that's something they fix. Because, I mean, like, I love the convenience of this drop box, especially because now you can sell any hour of the day. Now you don't have to load to go in the shop. You just can run up and just, like, sell everything you want to sell, you know? But, like, if it's going to, you know, if you're going to be losing 80%, if you're going to be losing 20% of the value of everything you sell, what's the point? Might as well just keep the money and wait until it opens the next day, you know? Just dump all your fish outside of Nook's Cranny like we've been doing for the museum. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I scared it away. Dang it. Anyways, I think it's that time again to kind of do our daily chores. Go through the town, get up all the fossils we can, hit the money rocks and whatnot, and, and see what else we can come across while we travel throughout the town. So give me a quick second to go through everything, get everything going, and get all the materials we can get, and then I'll see you in a few. Wait a second. What the heck is this? Wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. Rocket's house? Who let Rocket have a home? Hold on a second. This is the same guy that painted my roof pink. Since when were you allowed to get a home? Oh, hey, big news. I officially moved from Tent Life. I got a house. I mean, tents are cool and all, but I can fit way more stuff in a home. Plus, now I feel like I actually live here instead of just roughing it. Although, I am quite relieved you don't have to pay for the villagers to get homes as well. Um, I'm glad I didn't have to fund Rocket's new home here. But that also must mean our boy Sterling definitely has his house completed as well. So we'll definitely check that out in just a second. So let's see, and yes, Sterling's home is built. It's interesting, both my villagers have this big metal door. 
And here it is, his home. Oh, everyone's got a way cooler crafting table than me. I really want it. So Sterling, how's your new home? Guess what? I finally own something that even I have trouble living. Yep, I own a house now. It's got walls, floor, even a ceiling. I finally do jumping jacks without ripping a hole in my home. Oh my gosh. You know what, Sterling? You definitely deserved it. If, considering if you actually ripped a hole in the tent of your ro roof of your tent, I'm glad you actually have a home here. It's so cool the villagers are finally getting homes, but I am still kind of bummed. I feel like they have very limited functionality in this game. Because really, all you can do is just say, let's chat. And it is cool. They kind of like reference, you know, first items just like they barely did. But, but unlike in previous games, at least so far that I've noticed, there really hasn't been like any sort of formal requests where they like ask you to do a chore or anything of that matter just yet. I mean, perhaps maybe that's something eventually when like more residents come to the town. Oh, it actually looks like Nook wants to talk to us considering we just upgraded our home. Hello there, Jammer. Your home has another room in it yet. Wait, does he have a putt-putt course in the back there? Now that Timmy and Tommy have moved out of the tent, he put in a putt-putt course. That's amazing. Which brings us to, of course, the loan payment. Oh yeah, yeah, that's not happening anytime soon. But you know what? That's okay. We rushed through all the other upgrades. We don't really need one immediately. But I am curious, is Nook shopping? Is this where we can get our catalog? Oh, here it is. This catalog contains all the stuff you've obtained before. So if you go here, this is everything I've ever bought before. Oh, there's some, some things you can't read. Oh, these are the stuff you craft. That's right. So here's everything I've ever obtained in the game. And it looks like this not for sale stuff. Yeah, this is the stuff you craft essentially. So I, technically it's not for sale, but you can, you can make it again. Ah, Jammer, good to see you. Oh wait, someone's calling him. It's probably that same person that was like spamming him during the morning announcement. Hello, you reached Nook Rink. You saw our ad? Who's he ad advertising to? Oh wait, it's all the people I like convinced to come to the town. I got you. Sorry to keep you waiting. I suppose you overheard that call I just got for some time now. I've been advertising Animal H as a getaway package. Wouldn't you know, we, out of the blue, we have three interesting party. We have three people. That's great. That's quite wonderful. Or one of them except one minor little detail. Another applicants are too fond of the notion of sleeping in tents. Wait, no more tents for villagers? Uh-oh. Three homes setting aside the land, preparing for all the furnishing. Oh, jeez. Wait, so do I have to pay for this? You better have to pay for this. I don't want to have to pay for all these homes. Don't even look at me like that, Tom Nook. But Jammer, here you are in my hour of need. Oh my gosh, don't even. Of course, I'll have to give you a good proper thank you for your assistance. As if I have a choice. <laughs> You need some top secret instruction. When you're ready, come talk to me and we'll get this started. So essentially, I'm assuming I can probably pick where these next... Oh wait, we can hold a ceremony. Dude, let's hold a ceremony. We're solving so many different things right now. Truly a wonderful time in this moment. Oh, we have multiple ceremonies. Well, first let's do the museum. That was the first one we got done. And here we are in celebratory. Now then, welcome to our dedication ceremony of honoring Animal H's brand new museum. Woohoo! I love how they cleared out some of my fish out of the way so we could actually celebrate this museum opening. Animal H2 started out as a desert island, but simply wasn't much here. But now it's slowly being developed thanks to the tireless effort of, well, everyone. In but more, more me, let's be real. Blathers, the four is yours. Residents of Animal H, I once again am Blathers, your humble museum curator. I'm overwhelmed, indeed enjoyed by the marvelous establishment we're opening here today. Who this could not have been done without your corroboration. I only hope this island's rich ecosystem and treasure trove of specimens continues to inspire all. Dude, Blathers, what a speech! This is fantastic! I say, I hope you will continue to support this museum's efforts going forward. My guy, Blathers, what a speech. That was amazing. Now, let's have a few words for someone who's contributed made the museum possible. That would be me, of course, the resident representative. Anything to add? Woo. <laughs> Thank you for your heartfelt, encouraging sentiments there, Jammer. Everyone, please get ready to join me in bringing this ceremony to a close. Anyone wishing to take a chromatic photo? Oh, we gotta get ready to take the photo. When do we do it? Well then, with the hopes of our continued growth to celebrate Animal H's beautiful museum, hurrah! I got the picture. Thank you all. This concludes our ceremony. Anyways, we got one more ceremony to do. We gotta go back to back ceremonies to check out this. Yep, there we go. The celebration of the opening of Nook's Cranny as well. I mean, before the thing closes, it's gonna be closing pretty soon. Well, here we all are. Now then, welcome to our dedicated ceremony of Nook's Cranny. Animal H2 star out Oh, okay, it's gonna be the same kind of speech again. Yes, Timmy Tommy, a few words about Nook's Cranny. Timmy Tommy, would you please? Thank you, Animal H. Because of you, we've opened a proper shop. And my brother and I will work hard to make the best shop. And I hope we can count on your business. Oh, that was cute. Much, much shorter speech than Blathers. But you know what? That still was totally, totally appropriate. Anyways, I guess apparently I have to say something. 
we're good for us. Now we have something, that's a place to sell all our stuff, even though the hours are drastically shortened. Everyone, please get ready to bring the ceremony to a close. Get ready for the commemorative photo. Hurrah! There we go. The Nook's Cranny has been completed. That is two shops now in a row in the same episode being completed. It's crazy how fast things progress here on this island. It's just like just yesterday, we were just like little yellow tent here on the beach. Things are coming along quite well. But even though they're coming along, there's still a lot, a lot to do. I mean, for all things considered, my house is barely furnished. Also, my roof is still definitely pink, and he did not give me an option to change it when we upgraded the home. So I guess we're stuck with a pink roof for a while. Dang it, Rocket. But beyond that, there's a lot we have to do to still make this town the best town ever. I mean, for one thing, I still have to donate all these freaking bugs. I keep forgetting. I think the last thing worth doing today is actually going to talk to Tom Nook and completing that little task he has for us. Apparently there's a couple of new villagers on the way, so we need to, you know, prep them and actually make some home places for their homes to go. We really should start building a bridge to cross a river somewhere with three homes to build. I really will run out of space on a land that's quite easily accessible. A bridge will open up things a bit more. That's why I like to start crafting parts and get your DIY skills ready. Awesome, so we're finally gonna get the ingredients now to actually make a brick cause oh, a bridge construction kit. So now we find a good spot for bridge, checking with me. There it is. We need log stakes, clay, and stone. Oh, we got all those materials. Actually, we gotta make a couple of, how many log stakes do we need? We make four log stakes. How many log stakes do we have? Zero. Oh, and it comes out as a little, um, what are the, the sleeping bags, just like everything else. So cool, we have a bridge construction kit, so now it's finally time to make the island's first bridge. And now my initial idea is like, cause obviously we've been just jumping back and forth right here. You know, the bridge could go here, but you know, eventually once town hall's here, I mean, you don't really want the bridge behind town hall. And so my kind of idea is like to kind of keep it straight lined with the Dodo airline here. I mean, obviously I've been using like a little pattern path to kind of get an idea of what kind of paths I'll eventually have. So I think we kind of just go straight here. We put the bridge directly this direction. Oh, it's perfect. That is literally exactly how, it, look, it's in line with the, the holes. You can barely see it off screen. It's exactly where I wanted it to go. I picked the spot for the bridge. Let the lands connect. So starting tomorrow, I guess, there'll be a bridge. I mean, we might as well talk to Tom Nook and see what's going on and see what our next step will be. Hey, Jammer. So did you find a good place to deploy your bridge construction? I sure did. Okay, here's the three house kits. Is that it? I just like place them and that's it? Oh, each kit comes with a list of furniture required in its house, so be sure to read those lists. Oh, that's so interesting. It's kind of like a little bit of happy home designer like kind of idea where you know have to build, you have to design the home as well as make it. That's so cool. So it looks like we have a list of things to do here. Oh yeah, we oh we got a simple bed, we got some chairs. Oh, um, excuse me. You don't just drop the ladder on me like that. Are you joking? The freaking ladder? So you're telling me just out of the blue, and Tom looks like, oh, and by the way, here's the ladder so you can access your entire island. <gasps> There's a, oh my gosh, should we go for it? Dude, I've always failed this thing. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna so die to this stupid tarantula. Every time I try to do it, it always snipes me. It's cause like, I always misgauge how far my, my net can go, especially cause it keeps like dancing around in the forest here. Like how the heck am I gonna be able to like aim for this thing? Oh my gosh, okay, we're gonna change the camera angle. Maybe this will help a little bit so I can kinda, oh wait. Maybe I should change the camera my back. I literally can't see when it's doing this. Oh, but I can't see now. Maybe we'll, we'll go left and around, as long as it doesn't move. I've never caught a tarantula yet. I really want one so bad. Oh my gosh, this is like making me so nervous. Oh my gosh, I'm like inches from it. I'm trying to go to the left of it here. Okay, so now I can see it a little bit better when I actually snipe it down. Oh my gosh, don't do it. All right, let's turn towards it. I might be in range. Should I go for it? Oh my god, yes! Yes, I found my first tarantula. Dude, I've gotten stung by so many of those stupid little things. I'm so happy I finally got that thing. This is it, the moment we've all been waiting for. The moment of triumph, the ladder. We can finally make our way up to the upper areas of our island. We can finally explore the full area of what our island has to offer here. 
Okay, it's finally time, the moment you've all been waiting for. Let's go explore the upper areas of my island. We made it. Oh my god, it should feel so weird. It's like it's been an area that's been like undiscovered, untapped. It's like a giant f pine forest. That's so cool. There we are. We've made it to the top of the island, to the mountain spring up at the mouth of the river. That is amazing. This island feels so much bigger now. There's so much more to explore, so many more bugs to kick off. Okay, we have the plots now for three more additional homes. And now that we have a, such a bigger area up here to work with, maybe we ought to put some villagers homes up here. I mean, unless the villagers have like a ladder, they're not gonna be getting up here anyways. So we'll eventually have to build some sort of ramp. But I definitely feel like we should take advantage of all the space we have up here. It would be kind of cool to like build, build someone way up here, up in the mountains all by themselves. Oh, my phone's ringing already. Okay, so Pendus, I'm re relieved to hear that everything's going according to plan. Be sure to check the box in front of the plot for each home. It'll show you items required for that plot. Gotcha. Because then we got to craft enough stuff so then once all plots for three homes. There we go. Okay. There, right, let's just put this here. I'm kind of just throwing around these plots of land haphazardly because I'm like, you know what? All these can be moved later and I'll play with my... Because I, I really got to play with like how I want my town to look anyways once we get things going, you know? Um, anyways, Nook's calling again. You see, you, you'll need to get a wreath made from flowers. There are plenty of pretty flowers going out on the cliffs. I've already sent you a recipe for the ladder. Yeah, he didn't even tell me the ladder. I've already been going up there, dude. There we go. And now we have the third plot of land set up. And Nook is probably going to call me. Whoa, he didn't call me. And let's see what items this one requires. This one will require, let's see, the log, the log stuff with the wooden bucket. And the interior stuff is the simple bed. Okay, the classic stuff that we were already looking at. So cool. So I think... So we got all the home so we got all these homes situated. I'm gonna get going on getting all these new furniture items crafted and getting them ready so then we can actually start getting some villagers moving into this town. I've met a ton on my trap I've met a ton of different characters on different Nook Mile adventures and stuff, and hoping at least one of them will show up because it'd be really cool to get some of the characters I ended up seeing um, over on all my expeditions. So I'm gonna go spend some time to craft up all these items. And I think I just made every single item that we needed. Now what it takes is we're going to have to go run around like a little madman and try to actually deliver all of these new items to all these. Oh, I got to I gotta unbury that in a second. I just want, I was, I was considering maybe making another money tree, even though I have plenty already. But like my idea is like I'm going to like strike the lottery every day in a row if I just keep like making money tree after money tree. Okay, that is one home done. That's two more now to go. This one's done. Let's move on to the final home, the third home left in the series. And that should be the end of it. We did it. We got all three of the homes created. Tom Nook, what do you got for me? Hello, hello, and how have things been going since we last spoke? Oh my gosh, I got everything done. You wouldn't even believe it. Thank you so much for your hard work. That means the rest is up to me. Good. All the money and the construction, that's all for you. I'm not spending a dime on these villagers. If all goes well, we could have someone new in a new home as soon as tomorrow. That's crazy. By the way, I plan on letting the island know about folks who move in with, uh, move in or out during my island broadcast. Oh man, moving out. That's like a real thing. However, once I know who will move into a certain home, I'll post the info on a sign for that plot. If you're curious, check the signs. And that's that, my friend. You've finished everything I've asked of you. Let me give you a token of my appreciation. What is he going to give me? Oh, cool. So then now there's going to be able to, we'll actually be able to unlock different fence types through the Nook Mileage program. So I think that is about everything I have for you today. We got a ton of progress done. I feel like a whole new world has opened up in this village. Look, not only do we have a new bridge getting constructed tomorrow, we have two new shops being built that were built today. We have three new plots of land for villagers. And beyond that, a new villager might even move in tomorrow. So we have a lot more in store. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a big awesome like. And if you haven't already, definitely subscribe for tons more on Animal Crossing New Horizons. I'm probably gonna continue to play this game just to keep continue to relax throughout the evening, but I'm really happy with the, the ton of progress we just barely made in today's episode. Like, oh, we even got emotions. Now I can actually wave goodbye at the end of the video. So I'm gonna be like, thanks guys again so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.